and we should be live and with audio. We love when we're live. It's so good to be live. Let's do it live. We're doing it live. <laughs> Hello, friends. Hello, Internet world. Hello. Welcome all. Uh, Tonight is another Vixens on Guard. Unrehearsed. Woo now, what does that mean? Live. live. <laughs> that means that we have a bag of destiny, uh, which will be proffered aloft thusly. And inside the bag of destiny, we shall place the names of several scripts. And then one of those scripts will be plucked out of the bag. And then each script has three tracks to it. There's an A track, a B track, and a C track. Those are also in a bag of destiny. We shall pluck one of those as well. So we shall each be assigned a role and a script, but we won't know what that is until the moment happens. So we have planned nothing. Sometimes we will have done that show, but we've never done that part before. Uh, sometimes we've never done that show. We may never even have read that show. It's a mystery. <laughs> but that is also part of the fun. We will also have a bit of slapstick comedy as we run around trying to find props. There will be a prop list for each of these shows as well. All you need to know is that it will be a Shakespeare play of some sort. It will be moderately educational. And I mean, and it will be fun. It will definitely be fun. Be so much fun. I think one of my right favorite on. things, one of my mm -hmm. favorite things about Unrehearsed with the Vixens is that if you out there in the internet are used to our live shows, you might have noticed that although there's always a little bit of improvisation that comes into play, uh, they're very much rehearsed uh, because otherwise they would be a mess. And so part of the fun of Unrehearsed is that we're just going to have a messy good time, if you know what I mean. It's everywhere. The script. <laughs> uh. oh. Oh. Well, the, the funny thing to me, though, is that the scripts tend to go surprisingly fast, even when we're not doing a script where, like, for example, Macca's, the whole thing is like, holy crap, I've only got five minutes, so we're going to do this as fast as possible. There are times that we're doing like Hamlet, which has zero time constraint. And we're like, we need to go as fast as possible because I this. I don't understand the impulse. <laughs> we can only hope it will happen again. <laughs> Speaking of which, are we ready to choose our show? I think so. I, I think we are. It, it's appearing very clear on camera, but I assure you I'm not cheating. It's actually a, a pretty cute bag that has some moons on it to match me. But I assure you there is um no no cheating happening with do this we, bag of destiny. Do we want to know in advance what shows are in there? Or do we just want to see of any of Shakespeare's canon that the Vixens have ever done, which one comes out? Uh, you know what? Surprise. Now, I do know that I, I believe there's only three possible shows in the bag. Those were pre-selected by Athena to place mm -hmm. in the bag. Uh, but I do not remember what those shows are because I am sleepy. <laughs> My bit. Okay. Shall I reach into the sack? <laughs> please. Run, roll, please. Oh, no, I dropped it. <laughs> the suspense. Let's sit in this. <laughs> <clears throat> it may appear backwards, but we have Titus Andronicus. Titus. Titus Andronicus. Oh, okay. uh, Yes, I have never performed that show. I do not believe any of the three of us have performed it. No. I know it requires a lot of props. And that is all that I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling up mm -hmm. the prop list as we speak. All righty. Well, aren't we glad that this is happening? Great. Yes, I'm oh. so excited to be in this folder that I've never even opened. <laughs> Before we can go about um, running around our perspective, homes, ship cabins, what have you, um, we do need to find out 
who or what track we're playing. So if you've seen a Vixen show before, you might have noticed that we have sort of these archetypes within archetypes where there might be a more leader character, more of a clown character, more of a straight man character. Those are our tracks A, B, and C. So for today, we're going to also pick those out of a bag of destiny. Oh dear. <laughs> um, and I think, is anyone r- just raring to go who wants to know first what track they are? I think it's Hippolyta, yes. It's me. It's, it's, it's you. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. And the track is... Hey! That's all you. That works! You're our leader for today. Fantastic. Oh dear. <laughs> Good awesome. luck with this piece. Uh, all right, and Selene, let's see, let's see, let's see. You Just will excited be- to see your beautiful penmanship again. That was a lovely A. Thank you. I breakfast. <laughs> your C. Yes, I'm home. <laughs> so I'm the only one sort of track hopping today. I'm not well, excited about it. Do we want to redo it? You know, I'm what fine. Let the bag speak. Look, the bag, I do, the bag has spoken. I do want to show off my B for Brizo. I mean, I think that it was fated to be that way. B for Brizo. It's lightly educational. We've learned something. We have a letter of the day. It's B as in Brizo. Everyone at home, try it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right. I hope you all said B for Brizo at home. Uh, Hippolyta, you're the first, I suppose, to run around and get props? I shall, although it shall be interesting getting around in this apartment. There's a great real bit of detritus. Big, big rager last night. You know how it is. Yeah. All right. Do we uh, want to time these? Time me. Let's find out how long. We used have... to have, we used to say, you must take 90 seconds. I think at this point, it's just, let's see what happens. Do the best you can. <laughs> All right, I have eight props total that I need to find. And so I I am prepared. If you wish to time me. I'm ready to time you. On my mark, get set, go. Go. The prop I need is a knife or other sword-like item. (laughs) Those do tend to to go with this extremely pointy eyeshadow brush. (laughs) I love it. Very good. It's also tiny, it's holographic. Next, I need a murder tally board, a way to to count the murders in Titus Andronicus. And there are many. Next, please. I feel like we can. A murder tally board. (laughs) Could you imagine if she just came out and she had a literal tally board with like the cards? Pre made. Oh. I'm going to use my my fancy rainbow notes and a sharpie. (laughs) Beautiful paper. Let's see. I an air in the mall. Air in the mall. Yeah. Do you right. have any actors around? <laughs> that sounds like a whole character. If only the cat would, would, would allow me to take her into this show, but I do not think she would like that. I do you believe track A plays air in the mall? So you might just need like a hat or something. Ooh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I loved the appearance in the back. All right, we have air in the mall. This will designate when I am air in the mall. Great. Air- Sweet Metroid. Oh, very good. <laughs> He's, he, he, he sits on my head sometimes and sucks the lifeblood out of me. And now I need, uh, Bassanius needs a hat slash scarf slash et cetera. Uh, et cetera, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, oh. I'm just looking ahead. This is unfair to our audience, but I'm looking ahead and oh, there's so there's so many things. Yes. All right, so I shall be a unicorn whenever I am besides. <laughs> uh, the author okay. intended. Yes. All right, this I'm going to group together. I need a head for Martius and a head for Quintus. Two hands. <laughs> Two heads are better than one actually that's we're going to go with garlic salt and cat treats <laughs> oh good then I shall need... lucius needs a hat slash scarf slash etc <laughs> 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 
this hat has made an appearance before, but it shall make an appearance again. So this it's is a good, good hat. Is a good hat. I got it in Texas. And last but not least, certainly, I need something as a stand-in for blood. What will signify blood? Ah, uh, it's a very good question. <laughs> Maybe like the good theatrical trick of like ribbon. Uh, yes, exactly, ribbon or like a a sheet, a towel. Oh, I do. Well, have- you know what? We're gonna go weird with it. So Please. we shall use this squishy burrito to denote blood. He also makes a squishy no- noise as well. So wait, I will. Yes. It's all it's a pop, it's a There we go. Those are all of my props. I am prepared. Great. Uh, that did take under three minutes. So that's nice. Crushing it. <laughs> um. All right. I think it is my turn. Would someone yes. be willing to time me? All right. I've got you. All right. Just uh, give me your cue, and I shall hit go. On my mark, get set, go. First, I need a knife or sword-like item, and I actually have this right here, so I'm going to use it. It's a little pen sword, and I want it. Fancy sword. Next, I need a bite me sign, which I also have a notebook, so I'm just going to do this very quickly and make sure you all can read it. Let's see. Good enough. Yes, legible. I need a Tamara and a Tamara costume. Oh, hold please. <laughs> I wonder what I would have picked if I had been Tamara. Some of my laundry is hanging in this room as well, so perhaps I would have ended up with um, a dramatic towel. <laughs> I was thinking like a veil. Ooh. For this evening's performance, Tamara will be played by Cthulhu. <laughs> Makes sense. Great casting, if I do say so myself. And uh, I believe her costume will be Brizo's glove as a hat. It's oh. really a jaunty look. Very stylish. The, the face tentacles very nicely to have the fingers nice. cascading down. All right, now I need a Saturninus Laurel and a Mucius, 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 I think, I think the contrast of the color of my tongue versus lips is hilarious today. I really love those dark lips. Um, I think this will be my Laurel, right? He wears it on his head. Oh, yes, absolutely. Perfect. Fashionable. And then can 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 this the, the sort of Schrodinger's is it cookies or is it a sewing kit? Uh I think is going to be my hat for Mucius. Is it cookies uh, or sewing kit? It's neither. Yeah. Oh gosh. You, you'll never know what it is. Um and then I need uh wait, it says Martius and Quintus. Do I also need a Martius and Quintus? Oh I bet. Because Hippolyta has their heads. I yes. need their bodies. Um, so let me get, I need a crown. I need a Martius and a Quintus. <laughs> so I, I, I believe I said this was Martius and this was Quintus. Quintus was definitely a lot taller. Um, or just a very large head. Uh, Martius and Quintus I, in, 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 in so regular sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. Uh, Great. Uh, He's in a pod. I need a crown and a mask. I feel like they're for Tamara, so I think this will be her crown, but then she needs a mask, and I certainly have one of those. Hold, please. <laughs> Don't we all have so many masks these days? <laughs> oh, dear. I'm excited for when you get to start pulling your props, Sydney. <laughs> So, uh, as one might suspect, here is a mask for our lovely friend Tamara. Excellent. And the last thing I need, I think we all do, is blood. And I am going to go with the classic theatrical gesture of a red scarf. Ooh. 
How dramatic. <laughs> and it's your time at three minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, I feel very good about that. I don't know how I'm going to keep track of all these things, but I feel very good about that. So the black sesame and the regular sesame. How, how does one tell How them does that? one do that? All right, Sam. Oh, I'm so nervous. I also... It's your turn. <laughs> uh, you are ready. Specific. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, should I time or will you, Hippolyta? Uh, if you would not mind doing it, Brizo. All of my devices are currently making things happen. <laughs> I am happy to you do that. I mean. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Selene, when you are ready, you let me know. I need to limber up. Okay. <laughs> On your mark, get set. No, I need a knife or sword-like item followed by an if you know what I mean sign. I will knock out books. Okay. Yeah. We have... <laughs> I'm very excited. A big kazoo for my knife or sword-like item, just as mighty. Good. Um, I will make sounds with it, and let's get an if you know what I mean sign. I, I would expect no mm. best. I've been personally attacked by a kazoo. It's happened. It's true. I have a very large kazoo as well. It's it's green. So I think we're ready for the holidays. <laughs> we can start a band. <laughs> It's a Christmas kazoo band, the red and green kazoo band. I think it is a wonderful idea. It is a way for Vixness to do things in the off season. <laughs> that, but that, make sure to Venmo that in the description yes, so, that, so that everyone is very confused. <laughs> we have a sign coming. We have a sign. Oh, perfect. With great penmanship on my end as well. Um, great. Okay, we need a Titus helmet. I certainly don't own a helmet, but I do own many hats. <laughs> Suddenly, you're a knight. We simply must get you a helmet. Sounds like the beginning of a joke. <laughs> we have a, a jazzy hat. What Ooh. a jazzy hat to do. Oh my goodness, is it 2002? <laughs> Mom at a middle school dance. In my jazzy hat. Okay, I have a jazzy hat. I then need three characters. Mm. Anabis, Demetrius, and Chiron. And this is why Funko Pops exist. It's true. It is, it is why Funko Pop. Do you know, I almost did get my Funko Pop of um, Furiosa to be Tamara, but I just thought Cthulhu Ooh. had to have his day. Yes, okay. my, my See, a little far away, but I also knew that this was the perfect choice. <laughs> we have a little Batman as a lobbyist. All right. He will go here. We have <laughs> a little Bob Ross, who is uh, Demetrius. Um, Good. And for the old school Bleach fans, we have Grimjow, who will make an appearance on the scene if you go back that far. And then... Oh, another character, Lavinia. Okay, lucky for you, I have one last Funko Pop, uh, and it's Winry Rockbell from Full Metal Alchemist, and that's our cast of characters. Fabulous. Then we need a crown for Lavinia, and that will be because she's small. <laughs> it will be a tiny hoop earring <laughs> to go onto her. <laughs> Perfect. Lavinia. It's a perfect yeah. crown. Okay. Socks for Lavinia. Great. Oh, I have socks right here. Okay. We have a chow dog sock. <laughs> Dicks for Lavinia. Hmm. What better thing for a tiny person as a dick? I did not even say dick. I think it's not what I heard her say. No. But that is indeed what she did say, which was stick. S-T-I-C-K is what we're looking for for Lavinia currently. It's all a match. Excellent. Uh, a little stick. Um, a sock for me. Great. 
Um, my socks are right here. This is great. Socks for Selene. Socks for Selene. But it should be a different color. Let's do, oh, a different animal. A panda sock. Ooh. Fabulous. We have pandas and dogs. Uh, a baby. What, do you not have a baby lying around? Is that not the easiest thing for you to get? I just love seeing everyone else's Funko Pops. It really is nice in somebody's personality and character. <laughs> yes, my baby. Yes. He's perfect. He's a very good baby. So, now, okay, baby. we have a baby. Um, a midwife apron. Okay. What does Lucky I have one. Oh, Lord, I forgot this goes to the second page. <laughs> it does go more than, more, more than one page. Uh, but we're, we're close. We're close to the end. Very close, very close. Soon we should be starting the show. Once <laughs> we get the last of these props, this show is so prop heavy. This is a very prop heavy show. Kit. Love it. Ooh. Um, a bowl and pizza box. Have you, uh, I don't know if you're all familiar with Titus and Jonicus, but obviously there's a pizza box. Obviously. I, I mean, how else would they eat in these trying times? In these, in these trying times. Also, I have no idea how to pronounce most of the names in Titus Andronicus, I'm realizing. Yeah. I am not, I, we, we'll find out. I'll say some words. It should be uh, an exciting experience for a A bowl and a target box that I will not display my address on, but opens like a pizza box. <laughs> <laughs> and those are my props. Uh, we did find ourselves at five minutes and 30 seconds. But you also had the longest list. I mean, let's yeah. be real. Well, uh -huh. well right, at least I'm ready. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm almost ready. I need a script. Oh, yes. We do need a script. Uh, unrehearsed, anyway. not unscripted. All right. So... Unrehearsed, tonight's show is Titus Andronicus. I shall be playing part A. Rizzo shall be track B. Selene is track C. We are just going to get through this, a show none of us have ever done before. Though at least two of us have read it. <laughs> and hopefully by the end, I'll know how to pronounce some names. Right, it will be fantastic. So let's get ready for some super weird Shakespeare, shall we? <laughs> Alrighty. Lords, ladies, and all kind and noble friends, I am Hippolyta, and on behalf of the Vixens, we'd like to welcome you to our show. Woo! We're just about to begin, but before we do, we'd like to take a moment to talk to you about audience participation. Audience participation. We will be encouraging you to be loud. And boisterous. So let's show them how. Right. Right. When we cue you thusly, you should respond in the chat with some sort of weird emoji. <laughs> like a weird emoji. <laughs> I would like to use it. Folks in the chat, let's um, try that out now. Let's give it your all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> I assume they're pretty good at that. They all seem literate. I know, they do. <laughs> Actually, there's people in the chat right there. <laughs> Also, when we cue you thusly. And the card will be held aloft thusly. And? You shout, you out. shout out what you see. Only there will be words. Words, words. Ah, an acronym. <laughs> know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Now, that little phrase at the end of any sentence makes it sound naughty. Naughty. For example... Oh, I never have to do this first. Uh, for example, land ho. If you if know you what, know what I, mean. I mean. Swab the poop dick. If you know what you I mean. You know what I mean. I think I need to go piratey now. Um, uh, oh, well, I don't have any pirate euphemisms. I will just say the man in the moon because that's my favorite. If you know what I mean. And I think they all know what we mean. <laughs> Pretty loaded one. Lords and ladies. And goodly, and goodly gentles all. Do you want to hear 
sassy jokes, tossy innuendo, sexy swordswomen spouting Shakespeare. Get the emojis, 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 emojis. Do you want to see dangerous beauties, deadly duels, daring damsels doing a damn fine job of kicking butt? Emojis, emojis, emojis. Do you want smoking hot babes? Smoking hot swords. Smoking hot fixing on fixing action. I'm doing this to Selene. Oh no, I say this now. You you have action, and I say you do realize we're referring to fight sequences, right? Right. <laughs> Lords and ladies. And all general ruffians. Without further ado, we present to you... Buxom women. women playing Shakespeare. Buxom women wielding women's weapons. <laughs> Buxom women. We are, are vixens on guard. I hope it's a really weird emoji. That's all I want. <laughs> Off <In> chat. <laughs> Allow me to introduce the sexy souls women before you. Uh, I believe below me <laughs> is our knight, Selene. No, wait, no. Below me, no. To my side is our buccaneer, Brizo. Brizo. <laughs> and she loves dancing salsa in the ocean breeze, boarding axes, and as you might suspect, booty and chest and then below me i believe is our night selling and she loves playing dragons coffee with croissants pink floyd and mooning but i'm not doing that on the stream <laughs> <laughs> And I am our Amazon Hippolyta. And woo, I love kicking down doors, conquering nations, uh, Viking karaoke, and bubble baths. And together we are that band of babes with blades for hire, the Vixens, the Vixens are on guard. How came this bevy of deadly beauties to assemble, you might ask? We'd love to tell you, but then... We'd have We'd to, kill, have to you. kill you. <laughs> Suffice it to say that our unusual backgrounds, our outspoken ways, our predilection for fighting, that of wearing tights, and the general, general flaunting of, of our, our assets, assets. <laughs> <laughs> make it quite impossible for us to fit the mold of proper womanhood in this our Renaissance England. So we did the only sensible thing we could think of that would enable us to drink, fight, and get laid. Paid. Get paid. We became, we became mercenaries. Very tough. As soon we were fast friends, formed the Vixens. We have traveled together ever since in search of adventure. Fame. Fortune. And, and work. work. Indeed, we are availing our sword skills to earn us some pieces of eight. Backers. Red. Prinks. Lolly. Dosh. Do. The balloons. Dingo. Charging. Unfortunately, as you know, chat, these are trying times, and since work is scarce, we're skinned. Skinned. Broke. So, we thought to begin performing here and there to earn us a bit of extra pence. Moonlight. Moonlight. Yes. You know, since that's a real stable line for And so here we are ready to present our show in which we show you William Shakespeare's naughty bits. Really? Is that decent? How do you get your hands on his bits? <laughs> you really have to ask. Well, <laughs> first I bought him a drink and then I drank him under the table and then I joined him. PG-13 rating. Right. We'll be performing one of Shakespeare's best bits. Intrigue. Fighting. Romance. I'm seeing as last week in London when we petitioned to be players at the Globe Theatre, a certain Mr. Henslow informed us that women are not allowed, are not allowed to appear on the English stage. We therefore 
in a, in a stunning, stunning display, display of bite me. So not only for the fact that we are wearing hose, 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 tights. We shall boldly. Where no man has gone before. No. Oh, no west, young man. No. No. Take a nap. <laughs> we shall boldly play all of the male roles. And we'll have some help for the female roles. Alright. Our entertainment for you. <laughs> Our entertainment for you today is Drum roll, please. <laughs> Itis Andronicus! With an average of 5.2 atrocities per act, or one for every 97 lines. It's a lot of atrocities. Well, for your warped pleasure, we shall present to you our murder tally board. <laughs> to count down all of the murders in this most epic of bloody plays. Titus Andronicus is a play with 14 killings. Ew, God. It's a veritable catalogue of abominations. Blood. A festival of violence. Blood, blood, blood. A oh, that's yours. Work of Quentin Tarantino. Nice. Nice. Here in the chat wants to see blood come flying into your screen. Woo! Who here wants to see blood flying at your screen? Just remember later, you asked, you asked for it. For it. <laughs> All right, who shall play Titus? Me. And I want to play the nine and a half quarts of blood this play is known to use. Mm-hmm. I'm red. How will you... <laughs> Let's do this. Far be it for me to get in the way of creative genius. All right, lords and ladies... And everybody else here not sitting on a cushion. The Vixens on guard present the best worst play ever written. The mother of all revenge plays. The play that makes Hannibal Lecter look like a vegetarian. Titus and Veronicus. Brought to you in 3D. Well, actually, really 2D, but well, anyway. He didn't get the glasses. <laughs> <clears throat> the start of our story, our hero, Titus Andronicus. Oh, my jazz hat. <laughs> um, this is how you'll know when fair t- Oh, it has to go on a skew. This is perfect. Great. Okay. <laughs> our hero, Titus Andronicus, a mighty Roman general, has been at war for 10 years with a band of Goths. Led by the cure frontman, Robert Smith. Moments before the battle, Titus addresses his legions. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Well, as long as she gets the job done, does it matter if she's confused as to which? I suppose not. My signal, unleash hell. Oh, we do a golf battle. Golf battle. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ah, I, no, need, um, I need ow, more. Ow, ow. I have a really good golf battle. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? After many years of weary battle, the victorious General Titus goes home to Rome. There's no place like Rome. There's no place like Rome. There's no place like Rome. The conquering Roman hero comes home with the spoils of war, including his prisoners. Air in the war. Three princes. Uh, Alabis, Demetrius and Chiron. And their mother, that sexy, sexy siren, Tamara, queen of the Goths. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) 
being a true judge of beauty, I have already picked a fabulous goth queen from our exceptionally good-looking audience in my own ship's cabin. And uh, <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Why, you are. And what's your name? Gorgeous Cthulhu. Let's have a big round of applause for Cthulhu, our beautiful goth queen, Tamara. Wonderful. <laughs> now, oh, that's not my line, that's your line. There are only two things that you need in order to play our goth queen, Tamara Cthulhu. Uh, and they are a costume. A costume. And um, a plotting, vengeful look. So when we cue you thusly, you will respond thusly. I don't know how to make him do a plotting vengeful look. Just, just, just make his uh, his um tentacles move. Just wiggle them. It's very evil. That's perfect. Perhaps, perhaps a sound effect would be good. It's just like, nee. yeah. great. <laughs> evil. So let's try this one more time, shall we? <laughs> Woo, that's disturbing. <laughs> You're Bravo. Definitely... Mm, all right. Well, back to the play. Even though Titus was victorious in the war with the Goths, the cost was very high. He left with 25 sons and returned 10 years later with just four. Well, uh, in case Tamra, to honor all of my dead sons killed by your people, I will offer your eldest son, Alabis, as a sacrifice to my music. I think this is Alabis? This might be Alabis. No, no, that's... That man is Alabis. No, that's Alabis. That's Alabis. Never mind. I lied. Well, I give you as so, my sacrifice. Alabis. So, get him. Oh, great. <laughs> that's... Oh! It's my turn. That's murder number one. <laughs> Perfect. Very good job. Ooh. And then there's all this blood, blood. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want all of the blood flying from the stage. So that's all of the burrito blood. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So next, Tamara retreats to her handy dandy gothic chair in order to brood. <laughs> The Emperor, oh, that's me with this. I need to wear this. The Emperor, um, oh no, I don't wear this yet. The, the Emperor, I can do this, has died and his two sons, Saturninus and Bassanius, are vying for the throne. Though both princes, two princes who adore you, anyway, uh, appeal to the Roman people for endorsement, the mob chooses Titus instead to lead them. Tight ass, tight ass, tight ass, tight ass, tight ass. That's Titus, Titus. But no, Romans, I cannot ascend my hats backwards to the throne. No, uh, uh, even though that would be awesome. No, I am too old. I have done my duty for my country. I have sacrificed most of my sons. I need a flipping vacation, y'all. I say that the Emperor's oldest son, Saturninus, shall rule. Thus, Saturninus becomes the new Emperor of Rome. That's right, I'm the Poo. And as the new Emperor in town, Titus, I choose your hot daughter, Lavinia, as my new Empress. Uh, what we need now is a Lavinia. But... <laughs> We're looking for someone really, really you, baby. <laughs> Good. Well, uh, let's have a big round of applause for our Lavinia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't worry, Tamara, we'll get back to you shortly. <laughs> Getting right. a little jealous. Now, like Tamara, there are only two things that you need in order to play Lavinia. And they are a costume. And... A sound effect that denotes innocence. Listens. Oh, 
No, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, I, I truly think just to be like a... <laughs> if you are making oh. that, I cannot hear it, which is making <laughs> this funnier. <laughs> so much better because we can't so it. gentle it's like a <laughs> no i'll 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 put more so <laughs> sound of innocence so you can hear it sound of innocence all right so so let, let us try it <laughs> <laughs> i think try it a little bit louder one more time one more time I think it's almost worse. The, I, I suppose the uh, the Renaissance technology that is a microphone is just not picking it up because it's too loud. I know it's like this kazoo is very big. You don't want this. Mm, I, one second. Like, I've got a voice. I should filter that. <laughs> Who knows what? Keep trying this kazoo. Anyway, back to the play. Back to the play. So Saturninus, yours truly offers to make Lavinia Empress of Rome. Ooh, but she's already in love with yours truly, his brother. This is the hat I chose, I believe. Uh, Bassanius, fatty ass. It, it's definitely Bassanius, but... Oh. Um, uh, Quintus Lentillus Batiatus, minister of the best bleeping Ludus. Ludus is a sort of gladiator school? Huh? Gladiator? Not that kind. Uh, no, the best bleeping Ludus in all of Capua by Jupiter's bleep. No, he swears a lot. No sheep. His name is Bassanius. This isn't Sparta. Because... Brother, you cannot have her. Lavinia is already betrothed to me. <laughs> Ah, oh, traitor, if Rome have law or we have power, thou and thine shall repent this. <laughs> Amidst protests, oh, Bassanius and Lavinia flee. Yeah. Flee! Amidst protest from Titus and Saturninus. I hate raising a teenager, always such drama. Titus chases after Lavinia, but one of his sons, Mucius, uh, stands in his way. Father, leave Lavinia alone. She'll probably just go to the city, do an Instagram takeover, sign with a makeup sponsor, and be back in the morning. That's my baby you're talking about. Have you heard those TikTok sea shanty singers? We rape your fight. Fight, 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 fight. I'll fight. beat the spice out of you. Daddy, don't mess around. Thus, Titus kills his son, Mucius. Oh, that's murder number two! Ah, inside blood, guts, guts, blood, woo! So, Saturninus, angry that Lavinia left him for his brother, takes the former enemy of Rome, Tamara, queen of the Goths, to be his empress. Hi, beautiful. Hello. I just killed her eldest son and now she's the Empress of Rome? This can't possibly go wrong. Well, now the next part of the plot is a bit tricky. Ready, everyone? Ready? Ready. Hmm. Trying to make peace with all parties involved, Titus suggests a royal hunt, trumpet fanfare. <laughs> Did you hear it that time? It worked. Because it was supposed to be a trumpet fanfare there, so the Zoom knew. Anyhow, and invites Emperor Saturnite, uh, Saturninus and Empress Tamra, there she is, uh, and her sons, um, uh, Demetrius, yes, Demetrius and Chiron, uh, Bassinius uh, and Lavinia, mm-hmm, yes. Uh, and Aaron the Moor, yes, we have him. Uh, and while on hunt, Tamra has a scene with Aaron. Do you mind if I suck all of the energy out of your head? 
Don't if you me. know what I mean. You, I'll, I'll help you. If you know what I mean. <laughs> so Tamara and Aaron are discovered creating the beast with two backs. By Bassanius, no, Bassanius and Lavinia. Tamara. Tamara has been caught cheating and fears that her husband, new Emperor Saturninus, will kill her for it. Ooh. So before those two can spill the beans, Tamara orders her sons, um, Demetrius and Chiron, to kill them. Oh, <laughs> is bleep. And throw them in a pit. Um, Lavinia. Uh, this might be a good time for you to hide. Uh, so just wait here for me, my love. The golf boys now attack Bassanius. <laughs> At last, the gods remove bleep from bleeping bleep. Ha! The house of Bassanius rises to the bleeping heaven. Sam! Off! Oh, Brizo, will you assist me? Delighted to. Uh, Lavinia, Tamara, be right back. Now the puppets are coming off. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> oh, oh, bleep. Murder number three. Number three. Ah, blood, guts, guts, blood. So, once Bassanius is dead, they fling him into a pit. Now, buckle up, everyone. This is about to get even worse. Then obey their mother's commands and simply kill her. The goth boys decide instead to do the unthinkable and liberate her from her virtue. Not only that, but to ensure that she may not reveal the names of her attackers, they cut off her hands. Her wigs, stumps, Ooh, and it's dangerous. And if that weren't enough, they also cut out her tongue. So she cannot name the culprits who perpetrated this twisted crime. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, great. Her tongue is gone. She doesn't even have a mouth. Um, so she's doing great. Yay, Shakespeare! Now, Lavinia, seeing as you can no longer speak, so when we cue you thusly, what say you, Lavinia? There it is. You shrug helplessly. Let's try it, shall we? What say you, Lavinia? Oh, that's disturbing. <laughs> All right. So, next, Aaron the Moor crafts a plan. It, where? Titus's sons, Martius and Quintus, uh, are led to the very pit where Prince Bassanius was murdered and dumped. Oh no! Tamara's sons, uh, Demetrius and Chiron, oh gosh. Demetrius and, Demetrius and Chiron are, uh, hmm, what do they do? Also lead Emperor Saturninus to the same pit and implicate Martius and Quintus in the murder of Bassinius. Oh no! And so Titus' sons are sentenced to death. Oh, no. Which of course makes Queen Tamara <laughs> very happy. Which makes Titus yeah, yeah. Very sad. Witness our noble hero beg for his son's lives before the tribunes of Rome. Me, grave fathers, dear of mine age whose youth was spent in dangerous wars whilst you securely slept. All my blood in Rome's great quarrel shed, pitiful to my condemned sons. What say you, Lavinia? Hmm? 
Oh, daughter, indeed for your brother's lives. Speak again from your heart. What say you, Lavinia? Hmm? Well said. That doesn't move them to pity. Nothing will. Unfortunately, the senators are not impressed. However, Aaron the Moor enters with a deal from the Emperor. I will trade the lives of your sons, Marcius and Quintus, in exchange for one of your hands. All you need to do is chop it off, and I will bring it to the Emperor. Let's make a deal. It's me, Monty, pick me. All right, trade me your hand. Well, what's behind curtain number one? Or take your chances with curtain number two. Take curtain number one or you may lose everything. What say you, Lavinia? Well said. Now, let me see if... Do I use for... Um, yeah, yeah, great. I'll chop off my left hand. Yeah. Um, now I have a stick of my own. Oh, my turn. Blood. Uh, I'm blood. Oh, there's blood. Blood, blood, blood. My turn. Thought you were safe back here, eh? Blood, blood. Severed hands are disgusting. It's disgusting. She's really into that. All right, back to the play. That must have been tough. So let's give Titus a big hand. Boo! I couldn't help myself. <laughs> sure, but I um I only I only have one hand now. Uh, but at least my sons are saved. Oh, but wait, we haven't seen what's behind curtain number one. It's the heads of your seventh son. <laughs> oh no! So that's murders number four and five. Head rolling blood, spinal fluid, ah, Halloween. Oh no, Titus, you've been zonked. But don't worry, you won't go away empty handed. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. You, you can have your hands back. <laughs> uh, oh, here I lift this one hand up to heaven and bow this feeble ruin to the earth if any power pities wretched tears to that i call what say you lavinia what's that little timmy is trapped in the well no ne ne never mind that i have an idea use your sticks to write the names of your attackers in this patch of dirt, and we shall be revenged. But don't get an infection. That sounds <laughs> terrible. Uh, okay, and so here she is, busy writing. Oh, very good. Object work, Lavinia. <laughs> Demetrius and Chiron, vengeance oh. is in my heart, death in my hand, blood and revenge are hammering in my head. Meanwhile, the Empress Tamara gives birth to a baby who was thought to be Emperor Saturninus's son. Uh, spread your legs. 24, 57, 82. Hut, hut, hut. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, well, is the making of the baby in it? Do you have the baby? Because, however... <laughs> I was using a bowl. Things don't look exactly kosher with this baby because their hats match. They actually uh, kind of do. Uh, I mean, uh, they are classic Nintendo. <laughs> correct. That's very true. They're both 8-bit for some reason. So you, Tamara, are in big trouble. Uh, um, great. So, Demetrius and Chiron, um, who are in in this pile, uh, but they're alive, tell Aaron the Moor to kill the baby. But since the midwife... Midwife? Midwife? Midwife! Uh, uh, um, excellent. <laughs> there you go. The midwife was the only person to witness the birth. And so, Aaron kills her instead. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, you should attack a lowly midwife armed with nothing but a, but a baby. Oh, why should Rack be mute and Fury dumb? But the baby? I am no baby. I, that with the base prayers, I should repent the evils I have done. Ah! And here there is a baby fight. There is a, there is a baby fight. If one good deed in all my life I did, I do repent it from my very soul. Yeah! The midwife is slain. Murder number six. Mm. Murder. Blood. Afterbirth. Blood. Ew. So, I'm more pleased with the child. Please. And to this drama, uh, Titus begins plotting to avenge his children <clears throat> on the ground. What say you, Lavinia? Hmm. On taking advantage of Titus's supposedly weak state of mind, Tamra and her two sons visit the general's home disguised as, oh no, revenge, rape, and murder. Yeah. She's wearing a mask. That's how you know. Not exactly the most popular Halloween costumes this season. In the dark. Uh, <laughs> hark, uh, wretches, how I mean to martyr you. This one hand is left to cut your throats. Um, uh, whilst that Lavinia tween her stumps doth hold the basin that receives your guilty blood. Um, Titus that kills the two sons. Murder oh. seven and eight. Uh, right. It's gross. Blood everywhere. Oh, blood. blood. Ew, blood. You know your mother means to feast with me and calls herself revenge and thinks me mad. Hark, villains, I will grind your bones to dust and with your blood I'll make a paste. The paste... Uh, and of the paste, a coffin I will rear and make two pasties. Pasties? Pastries? Pastries. Pastries of your shameful heads and beat that strumpet your unhallowed dam like to the earth swallow her uh, own increase. This is the feast I have bid her to and this the banquet she shall fight on with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> there we go. I was trying to do like the Hannibal Lecter mask. Ooh, I liked it. Okay. But All it's right, tricky. So it's the final bloody scene. And whatever we do, we'd best do it quickly. We are running out of time. It's, it's already 9.02. All right, so we have just under three minutes to commit the last six atrocities and kill everyone off. Right. Right. Get ready for a speedy smorgasburg of Mordor. Uh, <laughs> Not Mordor. Are you ready, Selene? Ready. Are you ready, Breezer? Ready. Ready, Tamara and Lavinia? And what about you, chat? Are you ready? Let's hope so. All right. So on your mark, get ready, set, and go. Saturninus arrives with the Empress Tamara. Uh, Titus's last surviving son, Mucius. L Lucius? Mucius. <laughs> Lucius arrives, pretending to reconcile with the Emperor, and as a gift, offers Alan Lamore for execution. Let him be buried up to the neck, left in the sun until dead. <laughs> Blood. Ah, oh. all the water Aaron wishes he had when he was dying of thirst. Ah, it's like blood. Titus appears like a demented Julia child, complete with apron and butter and wooden spoon and male gaze. I have no idea what that is. And one of the earliest and most popular cooking shows ever. And uh, a pizza box. And Meat pies. Meat Ooh. pies. Hot meat pies. Appetit. Welcome, my gracious lords. Welcome, dread queen. Welcome, ye warlike gods. 
welcome Lucius, and welcome all, although the cheer be poor, twill fill your stomach, please you eat of it. What say you, Lavinia? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're right, you should die. Number 10! Titus just kills his daughter for no, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, inside, huh? Huh? Why hast thou slain thine own daughter thus? Uh, not I. Twas Chiron and Demi- and Demetrius. Go fetch them hither to us presently. Why, there they are both, baked, no, <laughs> in that pie. Where, where of their mother daintily hath fed, eating the flesh that she herself hath bred. <laughs> tis true, tis true. Witness my knife's sharp point as I drop it and stab you. Ah! Ping, ping, ping. Madeline! Ew, it's gross! Blood and burritos! Blood and burritos! Ah! 11. Mm-hmm. Great. Die, frantic wretch, for this accursed deed. And now I kill you. I kill you. Oh, my hat. Oh. Murder number 12. Yay! More burritos. It's like Chipotle on a bad night. Ah, I've wrecked the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can the son's eye behold his father bleed? There's need for mead and death for a deadly deed. Murder number I die. Uh... Bodies are everywhere. Ah, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Woo! And so Lucius becomes Emperor of Rome because everyone else is dead. And bloodied. No ends for the tragedy of Titus Andronicus. <sighs> An extra round of applause for Alvinia and Tamara as they attempt to regain some of their dignity from the far off. <laughs> Fair company. You've been an ab- I'm leaving on. I'm leaving this on. You've been an absolutely fantastic audience. If you would like to stay in touch with us, you can join us on the Fox's Den on Patreon, at Vixens on Guard, uh, and follow us on all social media, including the Book of Fates. Yes. So we're performing for you. So if you loved watching us, feel free to give us a big tip. On Venmo or PayPal or you wherever. Know what I is. mean. We will grace, gratefully accept fives and tens on our Venmo. And 20s on our PayPal, at Dixon's On Guard. See below at the bottom. <laughs> we thank you for your support. <laughs> Additionally, we do have merchandise for purchase on our website, which if you want to take us home with you tonight. If you know what I mean. I am Hippolyta. I'm Stephanie. And I am Brizo. <laughs> and we are Dixon's On Guard. On guard. Thank you, audience! We did a thing! We totally did it, ladies! What a delight! Nice. Spooky play! What an excellent choice to lead up in the spooky Halloween season, I think. <laughs> so much blood, so much guts, so also much, much proud of Hulu. I'm really proud. He did a very good job. I mean, that was some of the finest work I've ever seen out of, out of Cthulhu, honestly. It, it was really- any old ones, I think, I would say. I agree. Well, darlings, is there anything else we'd like to say before we head on out of here for the night? Um, that you should join us uh, for some upcoming in-person dates to see a show that we have rehearsed. Uh, myself and Brizo and Melanoe will be at the Maryland, Maryland Renaissance Festival um, the first weekend of October. After that, we have another team of vixens uh, and then and I'm not exactly sure who, but then after that, uh, me and Hippolyta will be there with Melanoe for uh, the two weekends after that. So get your spooky fix in October with us at the Maryland Maryland Renaissance Festival. And just keep coming every weekend. You never know which fixin is going to be there. It'll be it's really fun. true. 
It's, it's really fun to see us mix it up. I do believe uh, the second weekend of October, I, I do believe that uh, Hera is there. Hera, uh, Athena, and Talasa is what yeah. I'm tempted to say. Great. That, that seems like it's correct. But then after that, it shall be Stephanie, myself, and Melanoe, which is super exciting. I get to break in the bodice in person for once. <laughs> I would say, having, having been at uh, Maryland as well as uh, Connecticut and uh, the New York Capital District so far, um, breaking in the bodice is a good time. And also, um, the smells are interesting. So... Pray that with some vodka, my darling. It'll yeah. get it up. Yeah. Always got to let it dry. <laughs> she's seen so much battle, but she's been put away for so long. She's excited to be back in the thick of it. It off. Ooh, in the thick of it, if you know what I mean. Well, here's the pro of joining us on stream is you don't have to smell us. If you join us in person, you do have to smell us, but there's many more perks that do come with us. So friends, we'll see you when we see you online or in person. Yes, take care. Right. Signing off. Have a wonderful night. Mwah. Do, 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 cha.